What's going on Draw2 Crew? Ramni here with another Spongebob drawing tutorial for you guys. I am fast tracking these and making them super uh, easy to produce so that I can have uh, a couple of tutorials out for you guys this week because this week is going to be all Spongebob. Today we are going to be drawing Gary the Snail and let's go ahead and get started. I've got my paper in portrait mode. Uh, the first thing I'm going to draw is this nice curve. Now don't be, uh, don't be too worried about how you can't get, uh, you can't, you can't draw a nice perfect circle or anything like that. Just do your best. Find two spots right here and here. So this one's closer to the edge here. I've got this one uh, to the center line. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm, uh, it's been a quite a long day for me. Okay, so now just try to get that as best as you can. Lightly. Lightly, that's the key here. Okay, so there's our curve for Gary's shell. And what you want to do is you want to draw a curve here. I could probably zoom in. There you go. I guess I can. And then this one's going to be higher up. It's going to be up here. Okay, so this curve goes up to there. Okay. Now, the tail. Is that what you call it? They call it a tail? It's going to come out like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a flat line first. Going across. Now you don't want to be drawing this too, uh, too far apart from each other. So you want to make sure that they are close. That close. Probably zoom in further. And from here, think of Think of the front of a shoe or something. So that's what it looks like right there. Okay. We're pretty much done. <laughs> this is not a very hard tutorial uh, really to draw. So now let's draw the circles for the eyeballs. And this one's going to go right here. Most of this eyeball is going to be inside the shell like this. So what I'm trying to do is I'm kind of figuring out the space it's going to take up inside that shell. And it just comes out about this far. And then just try to draw not quite a circle, a little bit wider like this. Okay, leave about this much space. I want to draw another circle that's about roughly the same size. Next to that one. There you go. here and here that's where you want okay so here's kind of like the center of that circle here's the center of this circle I'm kind of just drawing these lines kind of making a V shape because what they're going to do is it lets you determine where at the bottom you want the what do you call these lines right here <laughs> the lines that connect the eyeball to the to the face that's where you want to put it and you notice that it gets narrower and then it gets wider. Just a small, small amount. And it goes in to that line to about there. All right, let's worry about this one later. What we'll do first is we'll work on the mouth. Start right here and then end right here. So what we're going to do is this is going to go out, up to the left, and then curve down like this. So like that, and then this goes this way and curves in like so. Okay, so now we know where we want the eye, this eye, the left eye to connect. And it's gonna go down right there. Okay, again, it gets narrower, a little bit wider at the bottom. Good. circle and another circle inside color in that smaller circle do the same thing over here now you see this is going to be um, off so this is going to be looking this way this one is going to be looking straight ahead uh, about right here and then darker circle inside good 
Uh, all right, there you go. So there's Gary's eyes. I'm gonna draw a line going down like this. And then from here, I'm gonna bring it to this point. Like that. And from here, like this. That's gonna be dark inside. And that's what his mouth looks like. There you go. I'm just gonna clean up a bit here. The last thing we'll do is like the curve up here at the bottom. So let's go back to the shell and let's work on the design inside the shell. So there's a line right there and then a line over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna find kind of the center of the shell right around here. Because if you think of the shell as sort of being on its side, so it kind of looks like this, then this is the top and then the side of the shell, here's the center right there. You wanna start from the center and you wanna create this uh, spiral going down to here. I'm gonna go back to the center and then go on the outside of that line. And you notice that it gets wider as you come out. There you go. Big oval here. Two ovals on the side. Again, you guys, if you want to look at the reference photo for Gary here, take a look in the description down below. Anyway, last bit. Let's draw this zigzag shape right here at the bottom. So you want to try to incorporate this curve that we have here already. So you can start here. Or you can start over here and just like when you meet, you want to make sure that the curves are nice and nice and even. And then the underbelly is a different color. It goes starts right here and then just goes all the way to here. There you go. I think we are done fairly easy design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I've got plenty more this week uh, from SpongeBob, so stay tuned to those. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw to so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw to com where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.